one of the largest white pines left in New England. This is called a diameter tree tape, which I measure trees for their size, a diameter breast height, which would be right here, four and a half feet. We can do diameters or circumference. We're going to do both here. This baby, this is the Fisherville Giant, one of the largest white pines if you shoot up. Uh, I measured it at 12 feet in circumference a few years ago. I'm re-measuring it right now. How about this tree, Bob? Beautiful. Wow, it's grown three inches in the last two years in circumference. 12 foot three in circumference, which is in diameter is 47 inches. So it is the state champion of Rhode Island, one of the largest white pines left. In the old days, the white pines were picked out by the Royal Navy from England as masts for their sailing ships and used to reach heights of 200 feet. And they would put a mark in the tree, and if anyone came to cut the tree, they would go to jail for their life. They were so valuable. And the King's Pines, they called them. And this might have been one of the King's Pines left. Even though we're in Rhode Island, <clears throat> we're near an old Indian path that runs through the forest. And this tree was always left. And in colonial period, it was so big that I doubt the colonial people had a chance to cut it down. So the surrounding forest is much younger. This is an ancient tree. 99.5% of the forest is gone. This is a 0.5% is left of ancient forest in the northeastern United States. The original forest ran from the Atlantic Ocean to the Mississippi River. It was all virgin forest. The squirrel would hit the boughs or the upper limbs and be able to never touch the ground. So I'm going to hug this tree because we should all hug our trees. If you do, you'll always be healthy. And this tree, I can feel its love and peace. Followers, my name is Matthew the Twig Largest, the voice of the forest, and thank you for visiting today Fisherville Brook in Exeter, Rhode Island to the great giant white pine tree. And I'm going to give it a kiss because I love this tree.